You might as well have the night off now. <laughs> just pull, pull, pull the plug out, Don. Nobody's trying to put put. I'm just saying, you know, Giorgio Chiellini won a, a European Championship a year ago. Uh, Gareth Bale, and, and I've been a huge proponent of his, for the sake of repeating myself, mm. has been demotivated at Real Madrid. So what we're saying is, what, what, what's the motivation for him apart from playing the World Cup for Wales? Because that's been is, part of the scenario for 12, 18 months now. Is it fair to ask how much motivation he needs to dominate or be a huge impact player at LAFC? Because he, he played, what, 20 minutes between the two goals he scored against Austria and the he doesn't score the goal, but the, the, the free kick that leads to the goal against Ukraine that gets Wales into the World Cup. He played 20 minutes for Real Madrid between those two games, and he's still the impact player at international level, which I'm assuming all you guys would agree is ahead of MLS level. So this, guy's, this guy can be an impact player without being motivated, without being motivated every week, every day. I, I, I think at the level he's coming into, with the skill set he's got, at the age he's got, with the reality that no one on that panel really knows how far off it he is, there's no risk. Here. You know what worries me more? That bouffant at the front of your head. <laughs> you You're so me jealous. I'm not You're jealous. So Sean jealous. Hutchison, welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, hi, chaps. <laughs> Would you like to say anything? <laughs> well, I mean, I've heard, I've heard all the chat about motivation. I don't think it's a Gareth Bale that needs motivated. Wales is obviously his motivation, Dan, and we we've said it many times on this show. It's not the motivation. The, the hunger's still there for him. It's just his body's starting to let him down. That's the problem. I mean, we chatted wait, wait, three or four wait, wait, months wait, wait, ago. Wait, is, heard... is hunger's there for Wales, Don? Well, as a professional, your hunger's there to play every single game and train every single but day, but doesn't. sometimes you we, can't. We've seen, we've got evidence of that over the last two years. He hasn't for Real Madrid. I know, and that was going to be my point when we were, when we were chatting about what happened with Carlo Ancelotti and what Carlo Ancelotti had to say three months ago when he got asked a question on Gareth Bale and Ancelotti said... On the grass on the Monday, it's a no-show because you can't train. It's the same on a Tuesday. It's the same on a Wednesday and a Thursday. He comes out on a Friday. He has a little tickle of the ball. He goes through his paces, does a little 4v4, little 5v2 rondo. I can't pick him on a Saturday. So the most important thing for Gareth Bale, and I'm sure he's had the conversation with a coach manager, is are they going to be relaxed enough to accept that he can't get his body on the training ground every single day? And if the coaches are happy with that, like, like the Wells manager, Rob Pages, they're quite happy with you do your swimming, you do your bike, you do your rehab. As long as you're Maddie for, ready for match day, that's the most important thing for Gareth Bell because he can't turn out from Monday to Friday anymore. His body's starting to get a little bit older and it's starting to let him down. I think this is a brilliant transfer for Bale. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I mean, I do. I, I have no idea how it'll work out. But we do know that, uh, oh, he'll be... Will he be playing against any of his teammates at all? I'm sure he will, won't he? Yeah, I'm for sure. I mean, it ended well. Don't want to look at that group. It's going to be too easy for England. Isn't it? <laughs> but I, I do. I think we've all been. You can do some advanced scouting. I say we've we've all been wondering what's going to happen to Gareth Bale. Not particularly waking up in the morning going, "Oh, what's going to happen to Gareth Bale?" But we do seem to have talked about him an awful lot. Yeah. Primarily yeah. because. One, we have been wondering, and two, we haven't had a lot else to talk about since the season finished. And I suppose he has been uh, one of the talking points. Uh, I didn't see this coming, to be honest with you, and we did flirt with the Championship and have <coughs> talked about that. I wonder if there was anything else, Premier League, and he went, oh, bottom half of the Premier League. I think it does suit him. Yeah. Now, what LAFC and MLS and everybody else have got out, out with it, I, I'm not particularly fussed. But I think it suits him, you know, night, obviously the beautiful temperature, coming here to live in the US for a short period or whatever it is, in LA, uh, too close to Hercules Gomez and Max Bretos. That's a big concern, <laughs> performance, <laughs> big concern, those two stalkers down there every day. Uh, and I think depending on the game time, you know, getting just enough training in, nice lifestyle, and then play what you can. I, I, I'm not sure he'd be wanting to travel the country, yeah. but maybe, maybe he's got some sort of agreement that he doesn't have to go everywhere. I don't know. But I think it's perfect for him that that's going to give him just enough, yeah. but not in a league where every time you go out, yes, you can get, of course, there's a physicality to Major League Soccer, but I don't think it's anything like the championship. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.